So the title comes from a conversation I was having with Laura Kreider over dinner when we were discussing this BandQuest piece. And she said, we should do something Chicago. And I was racking my brain trying to think of Chicago and I was thinking of mobsters off the bat. And, and she said, how about deep dish pizza? And right away something clicked in my head, that deep dish. There was, there was music in that. I didn't know what it was gonna be, but I knew there was music in there somehow. And so then uh, about four months after that, it became time to write that music. And I, was, I remember I was sitting at my desk and uh-oh, what am I going to write now? So luckily there's this thing called YouTube and I started searching for videos on how to make a deep dish pizza. I'm not a cook myself, so I didn't really know what went into it. And I, but I have often thought that cooking and composing have a lot of similar components because we're throwing spices in there, we're mixing things about. I think there's a process that's quite similar. And so I happened upon this video on YouTube of a very energetic fellow uh, explaining how to make deep dish. And when he laid out the five steps, to me they all spoke music. And uh, those, those steps were centering the dough, and we all know that dough is a musical term, so I knew that I would have high instruments starting up here and low instruments starting down here and slowly doing a chromatic scale, which in my mind also had an educational aspect so that kids could play a slow chromatic scale. And they slowly go like this. And finally, we get to our movable dough, which is A flat in this case. So I centered the dough. The next step was to layer the cheese. And layering is a very common musical term. And so I, you, know, you have your melody, and you add some here, and add some here, and you have some layering going on. So that was layering the cheese. And I also made it sound a little bit Italian with some rolling mallets. So I knew I was heading in that direction all along. The next thing you have to do is add some toppings, of course, and um, couldn't do it. I, I initially thought, well, maybe I'll make this a piece where people can add whatever toppings they want, kind of create their own pizza, you know. But I decided just to, well, actually, the percussionists kind of did that, where they added their own toppings. But I threw a counter melody on top of it and uh, ha added some more percussion, so that became the toppings. Next thing was to uh, throw in some sauce, which is a kind of fun musical term for adding some jazzy harmonies and, and spicing it up a bit. So that's that. And then, um, then he said, now you got to cook it. And so that's where the tempo kicks in and they start grooving harder. So that's, um, those are the five steps. But he throws in, in this video, one last thing that you have to do is halfway through cooking it, you got to turn it. So there's a little surprise ending where the whole band turns and faces the audience. So that's how we turn the pizza and bring it. And it ends again with that chromatic scale, this time now in eighth notes, because they learned it at the beginning. Now we can do it faster at the end. So they, they center the dough again at the end, and we end in A flat, and we've got our deep dish pizza. Hopefully a wonderful pizza music.